oh, oh, oh. Okay. I guess there's that. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Holy crap. What in the world? Who's <laughs> a tank? All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready to head offshore tomorrow with Sean from the Lawless Tide. We're gonna take out the new boat and uh, try something that I've never done before. We're gonna have to make quite a long run. However, we're only gonna be like a mile off the beach. We're headed over to Navarre, Florida, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you quite yet what we're gonna target, but uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow when we're out on the water. But uh, we gotta get some gear rigged up, had to go buy some new stuff from the tackle store. Gotta get the boat all cleaned up, ready to go, fueled up, which is the worst part about ordering the new boat. Fuel is expensive and boats burn through a lot of it. What are you playing, dude? Is that fishing clash? Mm -hmm. Nice, let's see what you caught. What's it gonna be? Ooh, what is that? A white grunt. Nice catch, dude. Fishing Clash is Kelton's favorite game to play. Seriously, if Kelton is not out fishing or watching fishing on YouTube, he's playing Fishing Clash on his tablet. This kid is absolutely obsessed with it. That's why he also started him a YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that, it's Catching with Kelton. But if you want to check out Fishing Class, I'm going to have a link down below in the first one. You got another one? Another white grunt. I was playing it a little bit earlier and caught a grouper. All kinds of species. Really cool game and really good to pass the time. Go download it and you can use the code BeardedBrad and you get a free prize. What you gonna get on this one, dude? Nice. Is that a red snapper? Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. If you're able to pick from all these different fisheries, you have to unlock them. So right now we're fishing the Florida coast. You got Lake Gunnersville, some rivers, the Amazon River, all these different locations that you can pick and choose from, catching all these different species, hogfish, sheep's head. Kelton is still trying to knock a few off of his list. But super fun game to play, so y'all go download it. First link in the description. And so we're gonna get everything loaded up and I'm gonna catch y'all out on the water tomorrow morning, bright and early. Let's go get on some big fish. All right, y'all, we stopped here around the pass in Pensacola catching some bait we are on some uh, cigar minnows here already got a few in the live well we really want some hard tails but i'll never complain about ow ow <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> turning into a cluster really quick <laughs> the tool's supposed to make it easier we're uh for what we're going after today we really want some live hard tails but on these cigs pretty thick that the cigs will work too um hopefully we can find us some hard tails while we're here i got some hitting it already i'm gonna let it sit for a minute see if i can get a couple there we go there we go that ought to be a few okay just one one good one don't hook yourself sean the lawless factor full effect making quick bait today boys there we go we got one here see if we got more than one Oh, we had two and the second one came off. That is a fatty right there. That's how you do it. Hey, threesome. Maybe later, got fishing there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> see if you yeah, can, see happen. how many you can get in the live well. All right, y'all, we're gonna black out this live well, get us some more baits and uh, I'll catch y'all when it's time to fish. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you what we're working with here. I got my big Avit, Avit, however you wanna pronounce it. And we got a little uh, stinger rig here. This is like a king rig. So our target species is not king mackerel. However, there is a lot of kings out here. So they're kind of a bycatch. So we do want to fish with some wire just in case we get into those. So I got a live hard tail here. We're gonna hook the front of his nose here. And then the treble hook on the back. We lost a rig. We're gonna hook the treble hook down by his tail here. All right, we're gonna drop him out the back. Put him back in gear here. I think ideally we wanna be trolling around that three-ish miles an hour. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Like two to three. So we may be doing some bump trolling, which means we're gonna have it in gear. I'll have to back it out just so we don't end up pulling too fast. 
So like right now I'm gonna slow us down a little bit. And so we're gonna be running four setups today. We're gonna do two live baits up top on either side. And then we're gonna do a live bait on a planer, which is gonna get us a little deeper in the middle. And then way out the back, we're gonna pull us a lure. So we got four different things going on here today. High cluster potential. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the other rig set up. I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then uh, Sean's gonna do the planer and the lure. So uh, y'all go check out his video to see how that works out. But uh, I guess I'll catch y'all when I get a fish on. Trolling is a little bit boring because you're kind of just sitting here waiting. But uh, we're gonna bounce around, see what we can get into. We're in 53 foot of water. I heard they've been catching them around 60. So we're gonna hang out here, maybe zigzag around a little bit. I did also see the other day on Facebook that they had caught some mahi off of Navarre Pier. There's been a lot of bonita. So there's no telling what we could get into today. We're gonna take you all along for the ride. Let's make it happen. Look at these marks going off the edge of the screen now. Make my screen bigger. That could be what we're after right there. Two big fish. We got the live bait out. Let's see if we get hit here. Well, we've been trolling for about an hour now and uh, have not even got a bite. We pushed it a little bit closer, so we're in about 40 foot of water and we're coming up a little closer to the pier here. Hoping a little closer to the pier and the shallow water will have them fired up. We will see. It's, uh, it's been a little boring. Having fun over there? Uh, this is this is part of trolling though. It can uh, it can be pretty boring, pretty slow, until it's not. So I did sling out another rod way out the back with just a little glass minnow jig. See if maybe we got some Spanish or bonita or something that'll hit that little thing. But we're gonna keep trolling around, and uh, I don't know how long we'll give it, but we're gonna give it a little while, and then go hit the reefs and see if we can get on some reef fish. But we gotta put something on the deck, get something on ice take it home for a catch and cook. All right, y'all, it has been a pretty tough day so far. We're gonna take one more shot, a little swing for the fences here. My buddy gave me some numbers a while back, back when I got the old boat. And uh, out of Pensacola, he said it's really good. Flying fish, flying fish. He said it's a really good spot for bee liners, um, trigger fish, stuff like that. Trigger fish is in season, bee liners is always in season. So uh, we bumped on out here, wasn't planning on going this far, uh, but decided to do a little home run and uh, bump on out here, see if we can make something happen. Just trying to get some fish in the cooler, take home, do a catch and cook. I've cut out a ton of stuff, so you're probably only a couple minutes in the video at this point, but it is late in the afternoon. It's been a very tough day of fishing, and uh, we're just gonna see if we can get a few fish to put in the box, take to the house. So uh, see if we can make something happen. All right, that's our last hoorah. Sending some squid down on the chicken rig see if it pays off looks like we might have oh instant hit there we go that didn't take long wow. got hit the second i got the bottom the spot is supposed to hold some trigger fish and some bee liners yep. let's see which one we got sean's on on the other side all right not what we're after ruby red lips all right so i got my squid we're gonna send it down again we got a bunch of spots in the same area, so we're just gonna hit a few different spots until we find the right one. A lot of times those rubies will hang out right on bottom, so when I hit bottom, I'm actually gonna come up a couple cranks. Well, I, I literally got hit the second I got to bottom. I didn't have a chance to keep it off. Let's see if it's another ruby. Literally instant ruby red lips. You're on both. Double it up. You got one on there? Yeah. Oh, God. Dang. <laughs> Things just got crazy. What is this? We've, uh, Sean's been getting cut off. I threw out some cigar minnows. We're trying to see if we got some kings around here. Oh, this is feeling sharp here. King. King. Yep, you are right. I knew there was good. I got a gaff up under your legs. Things just got crazy. That's what's cutting me off. Oh, he's got me tangled the crap. Uh, 
There we go. I got around them. Whew. Are you through? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be able to flip this one with this light rod, if you yeah, don't mind grabbing that gaff. Yeah. Right there. Got it. <laughs> That was insane. We just doubled up on Kings. I dropped down. I had a free line in cigar. Oh, damn. Did he just bite your nose? That's all right. And then I dropped down another one on a weight just to get down the water column, and they both got in at the same time. There just must be a school of them down I there. I know. That was insane. Today's been a struggle, but the last 15 minutes has, <laughs> Made up for it. has been the best time we've had. I'm just going to go ahead and throw him in the box. All right, he's he's on top out front. Um, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You go I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to come around. I'm gonna okay. have to come around. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I just don't want my toes to get bit off by that one. Oh yeah, Mr. Barefoot. Yeah. Whoo! How freaking crazy is this? Okay. Come on, baby. All right, I'm coming behind you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, don't go the other way. Well, they're all that shit. Right there. <laughs> That's all right. Nice king. Is that a big one? That's a big good one. Big. Or is that a? No. I thought it was a barracuda for a split second, but now it's a, it's a king. Coming back this way. Ay yeah yeah. That's one way to do it. Come behind you. We have found the school of King Mackerel. <laughs> Is that line all the way down? Yeah, okay. it's on bottom. Well, we got some blood in the boat. That's for sure. Hey, oh. Sorry. Nice gas shot. Best. Well, that's right in the. That that's too. right where you want it. Yep. Not gonna ruin anything. That's a, that was a pretty good gaff shot. Ah! All right, y'all, check it out. It's a, uh, it's been a long day. Finally found a spot. We came here. My buddy gave me this spot for some trigger fish and some bee liners. And uh, Sean just kept getting bit off, so we put on some wire leaders, dropped down some cigar minnows, got a nice king mackerel here. We're gonna get everything cleaned up. The boat is an absolute mess. So we're gonna drop them down, see if we can get us a few more fish. This spot has been pretty epic so far. Yeah. And we've only been here like 10 minutes. It, Michelle did call. Yes, thank you, Michelle. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, well, that was pretty epic. I got another cigar minnow here. Whew. This rig I got a weight on just to help us get down. And uh, so we're gonna send them down. These fish seem to be hanging between like 40 and 60. So we're gonna drop them down a little ways. I don't think it's gonna take them too long to get eight. It literally got eight as I was dropping them earlier, but when I dropped them, I also got eight on my other rod. I set this rod down because I didn't know he actually got eight. Thankfully, Sean saved my rod, or I might have lost this one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send another Freeline one out the back, too. Have us two baits ready to go. All right. All right, I made a little wire later. That might work. Oh, yeah. Should be good. Gucci, man. All right, did I get eight or what's going on here? Thought I would have got hit by now. And I might have, and I might have just lost them. There he is! There he is! There he is! <laughs> we got a screamer! Dude. Holy crap. What you got? What in the world? Try to get my other rod situated here. All right, well that was uh, that was insane. Just about deleted half my freaking spool. <laughs> I was about to drop down another sig on the the weighted rig. It got absolutely annihilated on the free line. I think we found the king honey hole. Yeah. This is why, hey, oh, you're getting eight, you're getting eight. Or something's going on. Yep. This is why they weren't eating in the bar this morning. They were all right here. We're doubled up again. And we got rods everywhere. I know. <laughs> we got stuff all over the place. What an absolute afternoon. 
I was about ready to tuck my tail and go home. And we were just talking about like having the night the new boat is nice except for gas is expensive and it sucks coming out and not getting a video and i really didn't think we were going to and uh and then we pulled up here problem solved all hell broke loose absolutely no sean caught a little spanish and then he got cut off a couple times and he thought it was kings i was like i don't know it's whatever and then so i decided to freeline one and Sean, Sean was definitely right. <laughs> the kings are here. I think mine got tired because he freaking emptied my spool. I know. That's the thing, like, offshore fishing, if you stick it out and you battle through the hard stuff and you bounce around your spots, usually it's going to pay off. Not always. You can definitely go offshore and get skunked, but if you battle through and keep trying, a lot of times you can make something happen. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I guess there's that. I thought he was done. We got some good fish on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. You see him? Oh, my God. Big King? Wait till he surfed. Look at that. Look. Oh. <laughs> Sean has a tank. All right. I got one king in one hand and a gaff in the other. Okay. He, he's not ready. I thought he was ready. He's not ready. Sean has a monster. You're going to go have to check out the lawless tide. See that fish he's got on right now. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on, baby. Don't go to the motors, buddy. Don't go to the motors. All right, I'm under the boat now. Hopefully yours doesn't go under the boat. My, mine's on top. Okay. But it keeps wanting to go toward the motors. I still haven't seen mine yet. My fish is somewhere under here. <laughs> I just cannot believe this, dude. Okay, I'm a troll motor. Yeah, but be careful, be careful. God, this is bite. I know these fish. These kings will whoop you, man. Especially we're we're both on like fairly light tackle. Oh, dude, mine's a giant too. <laughs> Mine is a stud too. We're gonna have to figure out this gaff situation. I'm about to gaff mine. I'll whip them in the boat. Hopefully. Oh, yep. Mine just did what yours just did. Uh, I'm I'm like all the way over by you now. This is sketchy. My fish is on the other side of the boat right now, right where Sean's fish is. Not a good situation. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> all right, we got one in the boat. Oh, get away from my feet! All right, we gotta see who's is bigger. <laughs> This is that's a nice king, dude. He's about to come over here and chomp my toes. Word of advice: don't go barefoot when you're king fishing. All right, I got color. Oh yeah, that's a tank too. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> you're good. Just scared me for a split dry. second. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> it was right there. Oh, my word. All right, he's coming up again. Let's see if he uh, lets us gaff him or if he takes off one more time. Oh, that's fat. I don't want to spook him. Yours is bigger. That's what she said. No, oh, barely got, got him. him, barely got him. I'm gonna pull uh, it. Yeah, 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 you're good. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my God! <laughs> Mine's definitely bigger. Oh Holy crap. Sean. <laughs> Holy cow. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. This is insane. We're going to get all this mess cleaned up. And then I'll catch y'all back to shit all these fish. Check out the size of that king mackerel. Absolute tank out here. This is what we were kind of chasing this morning. Came out here to get after some bottom fish, some beeliners, some trigger fish, and got absolutely smoked by this massive king. This thing is going to make some delicious fish dip. Whew. I'm whooped. Let's do it again. All right, I'm going to see if I can get me a king on the ES lure now. You put wire on? Yeah. They are still marking down there. Sunk down a little ways. Now we're just going to straight retrieve real quick. See if we get eight. There we go. There we go. On the ES lure. <laughs> Sean just got cut off. My, my leader's pretty short too. Let's see if I can keep him pinned. This king bite is absolutely insane. This one's certainly not as big as the last two. Oh. <laughs> he says, really? You think? Don't talk about me like that. I was using the Stratic 5000. Oh. And the Bull Bay Assault Rod. Good little, uh, medium heavy inshore type setup. <laughs> He's pissed. I know. Maybe I'm gonna flip him. Thanks. Oh God dang, how did he do that? He hooked himself. Dead battery. Having issues with my other GoPro. Oh, did you see that? What was that? What was it? It looked like a freaking black fin. Seriously? Yes. All right, it's getting it out. Oh, All right, crap. Sean just said possible black fin. Something blew up behind the boat. It was either that or uh, an amberjack, but do they usually jump like that? Not really, I mean, they'll blow up on top water. But... Well, it came out of the water foot and a half, two foot. All right, well, Sean thought he saw a black fin, so I'm gonna cut this off, tie on another rig, and uh, see if maybe we got some tuna. That would be one way to cap off this epic day. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Like a good one. Sean said uh, he thought he saw a tuna jump behind the boat, so I pitched another uh, cigar minnow out. Oh, come on, please be a tuna. We'll see. That'd be insane. There's plenty of kings, so it's good chance it's a king, but he said whatever jumped was definitely not a king. So uh would be insane to hook up on a on a tuna. What an epic day, dude. You can't ask for anything better than this. Coming offshore, it's like a lake out here, glass flat. It was a tough day of fishing all morning, but man, things turned around. You couldn't ask for anything better. The only thing I could ask for to be any better would be a tuna right here. No tuna. <laughs> oh, King mackerel. Another big one, too. Oh, oh yep. That's what happens when they see the boat. They get mad. Look at that. And they go, I nope, even... I'm out. Get up here, boy. Get up here, boy. We already got our limits. We're trying to get these fish up quick and released. Let them go healthy to catch another day. Check that one out. Holy <laughs> God. Uh, that's the old Mercury missile. All right. You care if I use that? No, go for it. This <laughs> <laughs> is a tank. Yeah. All right. Off he goes. Whew. I'm pooped. All right, guys, we are back at the house after a pretty epic King bite late in the afternoon. We uh, 
I don't think I ever ended up mentioning it in the video, but the objective was to go over to Navarre and try to catch a sailfish. This is the time of year that they get sailfish right off the beach. They actually catch some off of Navarre Pier as well. And so we're gonna go try to troll some hardtails and see if we can't catch sailfish, but we did not get anything, not a bite. No kings, no nothing. Hit a few other reefs around Navarre, didn't get a bite there. Hit some other reefs closer to Pensacola and nothing. So it was like 2 p.m. and we decided to make the run out to another spot and uh, try to do some bottom fishing, but ended up getting on a bunch of kings. It was pretty crazy there for a little bit. But I said we were gonna do some uh, smoked fish dip, but we decided to do the king balls again. Last time we did the king balls, I wasn't really crazy about it, but we're gonna try it a little bit different this time. I had it soaking in some milk and some hot sauce, which should pull out some of that fishy taste, which I was not a fan of. And then we did it in more like a pancake batter, and it was kind of a sweeter mix. I wasn't crazy about that either. And so we got some Cajun crispy fish fry. I don't have any regular yellow mustard, but we got some spicy brown mustard. I'm gonna squeeze in here. Can get you? We're gonna take a few of these king balls. Toss them in the mustard. Into our batter. And after I done doing that, I need what my pins. Yeah. And you. Already got some oil heating up behind us on the stove. Dad, you got mustard hands. Mustard hands. My dad got mustard hands. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I don't got mustard hands yet. All right, so we got our king balls battered <laughs> up here, ready to go. We got the oil heating up. I did not film actually cutting out the balls or anything, but. <laughs> I did not film cutting the kingfish and doing the whole process, but if you just make some slits, like, uh, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half down the fillet, you don't fillet the fish, you just leave it whole. Make you some slices through it, and then uh, you basically just like punch out the inside, it's the top one and the bottom one, and you get the inside, it makes like a little ball. <clears throat> and uh, it's supposed to be delicious. I wasn't crazy about the last one, but we'll see how it turns out with this batter. And, um, once the bowl gets heated up, we'll toss them in there, crisp them up, see how it turns out. <clears throat> All right, we got the king balls ready here. They look delicious. What do you think, Knox? My mom will try it first. You need some ranch? Yeah. Ugh. All right. You need it for one more. With enough ranch, it's gotta be good. I'm gonna taste it. You gonna taste one? It's good? All right. I guess I'm gonna try one. Not too bad. Is it bad. hot? No? Not too bad. All right. Hey, give me some water. That was way better than the first time we did it. It's super tiny hot. I, mean. I know. It is it is a Cajun seasoning, so it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Knox likes some spicy stuff every now and then, though. Is it so good or is it too hot? Too hot. You like it though, even though it's a little spicy. <laughs> I'll try it with some ranch. Yeah, that's it's yours. And this mom's, this my mom's, this one's Elton's. Right. Maybe you liked her. I don't think Kelton's gonna like it. Kelton's hiding out over there. He got in trouble today. He could not be in the video this afternoon, so. Mm -hmm. He's having to watch us do it. This, this one. <laughs> but uh, if you're gonna try the king balls, I would definitely recommend soaking it in milk. Uh, the Cajun seasoning is really good. The, the first time I did it, it was just too fishy. So we're gonna milk or buttermilk or really anything overnight. It's gonna pull out some of that fishy taste. So it turned out pretty good. Still not like my favorite thing in the world. But as far as King Mackerel goes, I'd say this is probably the best way to cook it. Or do a fish dip. Fish dip, you can mask it with all the mayonnaise and seasoning and stuff too, so. But all in all, turned out all right. Go in with another little bite here. Kelton's trying to sneak in the camera. 
You want ketchup too? Mm -hmm. So what do you give it? One out of ten. Um, You're not even in the camera. Scoot over here. One out of ten. How good was it? Ten. Ten being the best? You thought it was a ten? Even though it was a little spicy? Alright, Knox says it's a ten. So you gotta try it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you go download the Fishing Clash app. Use code BeardedBrad to get a free gift. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Dad, Yo. I'll give you one or ten. Five. I'm on eighteen. Eighteen.